When you think of World War II, you think of masks such as the British civilian respirator and the Mark IV general service respirator for Britain. But a mask which you don't always think about, even though it is so similar to another mask, is right behind here. So, this is the Mark V general service respirator, which first of all, let's get it out of the bag. It's difficult to undo buttons with one hand. So, inside the bag here, I haven't opened this since the uh, last video I made with it. So, here you have a hose, but if we just pull this open, we have the Mark V, which you might struggle to see because of its sizing. So I'm going to pop it aside whilst we quickly look at the bag. So the bag is made out of canvasy material and it has two parts at the bottom so you can breathe. So it's a very nice bag. Now let's get onto the mask. So first of all, I'm going to pop this back so we can see it better. So to begin off with, here we have the face piece, which is very similar to the Mark IV GSR, and also uh, the VZ35, except it doesn't have the stock in that. So here, this is a uh, T-Mic variant, actually, so you can see the T-Mic there. Uh, it's an Avon mask, which you might be able to see if I flip this round. Avon 1941 so the hose here is in incredible condition no damage at all and here you have the wire clamp which holds it uh, in I don't know if you'll focus but can you see all the dust yeah there's a lot of dust on my finger So this is the face piece, and now let's look at the filter. Now, a lot of uh, you, uh, gas mask, uh, a lot of you who know a lot about the Type E filters will know that it's not best to keep it open, at least the intake, because of the asbestos in the particulate layer here, which leaks almost all the time. But because there's no holes in the hose, I don't have to do anything with the hose at the moment. So this is the filter, which I'm going to leave there for a moment. Or have there. But let's have a quick look at the harness. You can see it has number 4 free, so use the same harness that you would have seen in the light anti-gas respirator video if it's out yet. Very sing similar number as well. Okay, so I just bought this out. Because if we look at the harnesses side by side, first of all, they're the exact same model, or at least have the exact same number. But what's even more confusing is this is patent number 296493, 296493, and 405080 on both of them. Which means that both of these masks, the civilian duty respirator here, and Mark V, have the exact same harness and they're both produced the same year. You might also notice that the Mark V face piece is incredibly similar to the civilian duty respirators. If you move the two close to each other, the side pieces are very similar. That's because they have a very similar face mold. If okay, so this is the mask with the helmet on, as you can see here. Very nice looking, very interesting. Got the filter there, all the way back up, you got the mask and helmet. God, mess, it is very nice looking. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.